Hey everybody, um, it's Tonic Cashew. This is episode six of Let's Play with the Cashew. And um, yeah, I uh, I was I left off at um, I it's because this the, I was trying to give this uh, homeless woman twenty dollars and she didn't accept it and I didn't understand what was going through her head that time. I, I'm guessing she didn't like it was a joke or something or I don't know what it was, but she didn't accept it and I bought her a hamburger and she took it but the thing is she threw away the bun and ate and threw away the lettuce and only ate the meat I didn't understand I guess like she, she didn't like vegetables or something she's but the thing is after when she, she was done eating she said uh, this all this stuff is bad for you it can kill you and it didn't like occur to me either she was like like in, like back before she became a homeless she was like really into a uh, fitness or something but no I guess she just in her head I just think it, it just reduces her li her life if she eats this stuff you know what I mean so I couldn't really like do anything all I did was just helped her eat that day and I just moved on and but the thing is it still like ate at me like why wouldn't she accept the twenty dollars but she would accept the food I it's just didn't I just didn't like hit me till then but I'm guessing it's because either she was on drugs or something but it just didn't occur to me like I was I rarely ever saw any any drug users in my youth yeah like I grew up in a good town I live in Texas San Antonio like it, it's like a really nice place to live here but I don't know I, oh shit that shit just popped out of nowhere um it's a really nice place to live here especially since like the law is pretty much like there's more cops today than there was back then I, I'm guessing but I don't know it's just I'm gonna make myself a iron axe iron and it's just so much uh, peaceful here or at least in my opinion like I don't know if some people like hate fucking uh, Texas or something, but they like they want to live in Houston. I live in San Antonio because, uh, but the thing is, San Antonio is like is a is a uh, more of a uh, uh, what do you say a uh, tourist attraction. You know, it's not like a a major city like Houston is, like comparative to New York and stuff, but. Houston is up there, you know what I mean? It's like one of the top three cities of the world. I think it's like number one because really all the jobs are being poured into Houston, you know? It's no longer, oh, the Big Apple where things are made. No, it's no longer there. It's Houston where all the technology and schools and like even like rappers go to Houston. They don't go to anywhere else. They don't go to Hollywood. They go to fucking Houston. Because all the record labels, the big record labels, are in Houston. It's no longer like other places in Texas. Like everything is better than in Texas. And sadly enough, that is true in some cases. I guess the only thing that is down about Texas. Oh no, actually, the only thing that's uh, bad about Texas is the teenage pregnancy rate. That's the only thing that's like bad about San I mean Texas. I believe yeah, Texas not in San Antonio in general, but I believe Texas has the most out of any place in the world that has the largest teen pregnancy rate and it's kind of like I don't know if that's good or bad, but like even in a I call it um in pregnancies, like, if you start off young, it's better for you, I guess. I'm not sure how that works, so don't quote, don't quote me on this. And, I don't know, like, I'm guessing that's, like, the only bad side about Texas, is that pretty much idiotic kids that don't understand that being a parent, and they just get pregnant, and they're fucked, and they're fucking they pretty much have to get married, or the guy gets ended up on child support, he's fucked, you know what I mean? So... That's the only bad side I can think of about t Texas, but all in all, it's a great place to live. Me actually, f uh, for the longest time, I've been uh, this house that I I'm actually buying is right next to my parents' house. I'm my parents are my next door neighbor, and for some the thing is, this house that I'm living in 
It's actually the first house that was in this block area. I mean, before, like, dirt road. I mean, the roads were even pavement. Like, it was dirt roads. That's how old this house is. And I'm pretty sure this is considered a, a historical landmark. <laughs> because the, this house is no... Like, the modern-day house are not made out of solid wood. I mean, like, the walls in my house are completely solid wood. I mean, like, if you were to punch it as hard as you can, you would break your hand. Because how, that's that's solid wood, not bo like wood and um, fiberglass and insulation. No, it's not that anymore. It's 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 the old school method of building, and I'm lucky to have one of these houses. It's it's beautiful. It's actually this whole time I've been it, it's been winter. I have not have gotten any. I have not been cold at all because like I'm guessing because it's well insulated. That's the only thing I can think of, but yeah, but um, th this house is a really nice house, and I'm only paying. Th oh, in total, it's thirty-nine thousand. But I put nine thousand dollars down for my for my aunts who put pitched in like a uh, th uh like two two hundred or three hundred, and my parents pitched in the rest, and. I'm gonna have to pay them back after after I'm done paying this house in ten years, but still, th this house is just wow. Even the first night I moved into this house, I was shitting bricks. I was scared as fuck. I was hearing noises. I was hearing air, air. like this. Oh, this house creaks. It scared the living shit out of me, and this does not look nice in my opinion. So I'm gonna take these down and. Uh, I was shitting bricks when I first moved into this house, and like because I knew the people that did live here, and I quote lived here, they're no longer alive. Yeah, I, I was scared as fuck. I was like, hell no, I better not see your ghost here. And fuck, I was scared as fuck because I heard footsteps when I first moved into this house. I was like, oh hell no. Like, I was scared out of my mind. Because I didn't want to see no... Great ball. Like, the fucking ghosts come out of fucking nowhere. You know what I mean? Fuck that. I would I would have dropped dead if I fucking saw that shit. Um. Mm. Uh. Blah. Oh. I fucked up. Anyways, like, but it took me a, a good long, a good long while for me to sleep with uh, the lights off. Yeah, that's how much of a pussy I was when I first moved in. I was scared out of my mind. I didn't want, I didn't want no gooey scaring the cap, the crap out of me. So, yeah. Oh shit. Um. Fuck. Did I make it right? No, I, I need an extra layer. Fuck. Um, actually, I'm gonna have to cut some. I'm gonna have to redo all of this stairway. Um. Yeah, I think it's supposed to be one square back. It's supposed to be in front of this one, and then here, then here. Oh, I fucked up. Oh, well, anyways. Um. I have I fucking lost my train of thought. <laughs> I fucking suck. Uh, there we go. I need to make one more stair, and it's already gonna be nighttime. And uh, I guess I'll leave it here. I'm gonna finish this off. And oh, I fucked up again. I swear. I just I just can't get used to the new uh, layout of this program. Um. Yeah, thank you for listening to my rant, guys. Um, uh, leave a comment in the section below if you like anything for me to talk about or I anything in general or what you want me to hear, want me to talk about while I build my house until it's done. You know what I mean? Um, till next time, later's bye. Hi. Um, I don't know. Go away. <laughs>